uh, the broken record, you know, it was it was good work today. So uh, I like their attitude, and like I said yesterday, they've come back from from a tough one on Saturday and, and refocused and uh, seemed pretty good. Uh, you guys saw Darius Bell make an appearance out here. Uh, he's, you know, he's still real sore, and he's he's got some swelling up here on his above his clavicle, so he's out for this week, which I mentioned yesterday. I think with him, it's just a matter of you know how how quickly he can get over being sore and being ready to play again. So, you know, what you'll see is an increased role for Devin Fuller. You'll see a little bit of an increased role for Kenny Walker. Uh, you know, we use Steven Manfro in there some. Joe, obviously, you know, it's gonna be tougher to spell him. He's gonna have to take more plays, but I think that he loves that. Obviously, you know, the guys wanna play. Uh, I think Torian's bounced back well. Um, you know, you never know until you get in the game, but he seems emotionally to be good, and, and he's had two good days of practice so far. He's been out early working and working on the technique things that gave him a problem on Saturday night. These guys pose a huge challenge to us up front, as we've talked about all week, because they, they are a very good front, uh, and they do some things that challenge you. You know, they're veteran, and they know how to move, and uh, they're just really quick off the ball. So it's a... Uh, it's a good challenge coming off of a tough game, you know, and I think that's good for us at this point in our development, especially for this young offensive line. You know, I think it just gives them a chance to get back out there and fight again and and uh, fight through some things that gave them trouble the other night, and hopefully it makes us a better football team. But it, it will not be, it won't be easy, but that's okay. We don't, we don't want it easy. So. How, how difficult is it to mimic the kind of look that Star Lodoele gives you? It's impossible. <laughs> the guy's a great one. I mean, I, you know, I, I, he's a great one. I don't throw that term around too loosely. He, uh, I told you guys yesterday, this guy is he's one of the best I've seen. I've seen them all, you know? And he is something else. He, uh, he wears those little tiny shoulder pads, you know? And he's, he's mean looking and he, he's quick and he's fast and he's aggressive and he's nasty and he's, I mean, he's something special now. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching him, uh, but hopefully we do a good job against him. He's a guy that pretty much rates a double team. Front. As much as you can double team him, mean, every play you, you're just not capable because you know of scheme. But as often as you can get a double on that guy, you do it. Problem is, is that they've the, and I can't pronounce his name, but the number 91, um, he's darn good too. You know, so. You, you know they're going to pull doubles off of off of the nose sometimes because you've got to get a double on the end. So we've just what we've got to do really is this: is hopefully the players don't even watch this. Okay, <laughs> we got to go into this game with confidence. We can't go into this game intimidated. We have to go into this game playing our technique and believing that we can win with our technique. We got to understand that there's going to be some tough downs. That they're going to make some plays on us, and when they make some plays on us, we've got to have the resiliency to just keep coming back and pop some of our own. And then we've got to be able to capitalize when we get you know, a drive going and not turn the ball over like we did the other night. So good things have to happen for us, understanding that they're going to make some plays. This is a very good defense. And uh, when they make a play, we just got to keep playing. And hopefully that's what we do. How interchangeable are your receivers? That's why I know you got wide backs and wide outs. Oh, so goodness, they're all over the place. Yeah. You know what, I look at them sometimes and, and you know, it, You'll see, you'll see, uh, uh, like Stephen Manfro, for instance. You see him in the backfield. You see him in the slot. Sometimes you see him out wide. Same thing with Shaq. Shaq will be out at X. He'll be at Z. He'll be at the Y position. Sometimes he'll be at the F position. We can move him around a lot. The thing that you have to be careful of is uh, is the young guys that haven't played a lot. A guy like Jordan Payton. If you try to move him around too much and make him learn too many things, then I think that you hurt his ability to be good at any one thing. But as he gets going he'll be able to do that. So we just have to be careful. The coach, you know, you always see all these possibilities out there, things that a guy can do, but you gotta be careful how much you ask him to do, especially when they're young. With Bellon, I mean, do you miss him more for some of the other things other than just catching the ball? I mean, he's a good receiver, but do you miss him for some other yeah. parts of his game? I think we miss, uh, he's mature, first of all. He's got a mature personality and he's a, he's a real calm guy. So when you know everything's breaking loose in there, he kind of keeps it calm. He's a good blocker. Uh, the guys really like him. You know, he's got an engaging personality, and a lot of guys kind of flock to him. 
But uh, and then he does some good things on special teams. So yeah, I mean we're going to miss him, but we expect just like when Devin Lucian went down, you know, or Jerry Johnson went down and, and Jordan Payton stepped up. You know, someone else has got to go in and play and, and do a good job for us. So it's just a great opportunity for somebody else. But we'll definitely absolutely miss him. Yep. It's you know what's amazing, Chris, is how well he's adapted to that position, being a quarterback. You know, you just watch him go in there and play in that slot, and he and he looks very natural. Well, he's that little fire plug blocker in the field he's too. Tough, he yeah. gets up under yeah. the underneath the rib cages. Yep, I've been impressed. I, you know, I, I love good blockers because I think good blockers show you know toughness, and I I like the way our receivers block, and you know I get fired up in our blitz drills when Damian Thigpen steps up in there and tries to block Anthony Barr or Jordan James does it or Jonathan Franklin. You know, that to me that just shows the toughness of a team. Bounce back, big time, big time. We've got to help them as a defense. You know, we got to continue to get pressure. We got to do a good job in our underneath drops. We've got to help them, you know, get in, the, in good calls at the right situations. But they've got to make plays, you know. And uh, I think they'll respond. I do. What, what we'd like to see, what I'd like to see is a higher level of consistency in the play. You know, not so up and down. I mean, that's what we're searching for as a team. Uh, but that's a group that I think with three seniors uh, should be able to play with a level of consistency that's higher than it's, than it's maybe shown to this point. You know? So that's what we're asking them to do. Those guys always talk about having to have a short memory because of their position. I mean, have you seen that from these guys? Yeah, I think to a point. I think some things linger with you no matter what. You know, but you have to have what, what I think is athletic arrogance. You know, um, I don't mean an arrogant person, but this belief that you can't be beat. And if you did get beat, you know, I like it when those DBs get beat and they like, like look at their shoes, like their shoes let them down. Or they <laughs> look at their hands, like their hand. you know, who are you guys, you know? And the great ones do that. Now, internally, they're saying, hey, man, I got I to gotta get my foot in the ground better. I got to plant. But even if a guy beats him, it's like, I can't believe he beat me. He'll never beat me again. Let's go again. You know, I like that mentality in defensive back. I'm not talking about an outward arrogance, but an internal belief in their athletic ability. And so you're always trying to develop with these guys. Um, and at this age, you know, they're still developing. We're trying to help them get that. In order to get that, you got to have some success, though. Is it to the point where you, I don't know, consider adjustments like personnel or scheme-wise at all for? Um, we, I mean, we always do. I mean, even whether we're playing really well or we're struggling, we're always trying to create competition. Always trying to get the best, you know, mix of players on the field to give us success. So, uh, you know, we've been working the last couple of weeks. We've been getting um, Fabian Moreau and Marcus Rios a little bit more time at corner. Um, that's to create competition. That's also. They need repetitions. Uh, you know, next year these two guys are going to be gone, and and uh, if we have the opportunities to get them in there, we will. What are some of the challenges associated with bringing a freshman in a position like that? Uh, <laughs> Short-term memory. <laughs> uh, lack the of coach or the player? <laughs> yeah, lack of, <laughs> lack of experience. You know, um, not having seen something. As much as you prepare each week for a game, you're going to get unscouted looks. You know, everyone's going to game plan. And there's going to be things that you haven't seen on film that happen in a game. And having, like, the background and knowledge, the experience to be able to adjust quickly and make the right decision so you can make the right play, that's always a challenge when you're playing young guys. And I think, you know, you see that on the offensive line right now, you know, is that you, every week they're getting better. Every week they're seeing more. Every week they're creating this backlog of information that they can draw upon in the game. But also every week they're seeing new things that they haven't seen before. And it's challenging to them. And it's a good thing for their overall development. It's just a tough thing when it's happening. And it's the same thing with young, with young corners. It really is. Okay? All right.